me there things say all right but just have to go man up and just be a little poor for the money how bad can it be like I just have to go out so I can live somewhere so my bills can pay and so I can make a living start the story here I'm just gonna start like I'm gonna over tea because right now I'm not over tea right now I'm just want to get it out I mean I can't laugh about it now because it been at me years ago so for my ex best friend if you ever see that video and take offense girl don't take no offense but I just want to tell my story and let my voice be heard okay we'll pass this now so let's begin so I did have this best friend in high school right at first like we never really so close she did quiet and she hardly come my class but after a while i'm saying what that girl that looked like she quiet and cool because i wasn't the talkative type i was very quiet too and you know what i feel like say we could have get along so um we start be friends now and as i said she really never come class all the time so when we do see her my kind of happy and she never have a phone like in time that me did e at school me just never care for the whole congregation of people because i'm so like shy in person like people give me anxieties but she was you know one of my close friends would just you know keep me seeing when me did it we talk we laugh we got lunch together you know them some of them at home i was going through a lot me did really rebellious she did worse she could she lick a bit you know the people where you call lick a bit and rude that was she she lick a bit and quiet and rude and love man and she did have this soldier boyfriend and you know she always tell him what's her boyfriend and she go over him always and all them up six and them little stuff there and like there's this one time where she tell me that she miss her period and like she wonder if you know she's pregnant and now me as a good friend i go to the fear or whatever i'm like girl you need to take a pregnancy test and whatever so she never did pregnant thank god so i never have no boyfriend and whatever and then she um she started carrying me out places like i think the last place we got together was champs in school in high school before we you know just start do road or whatever so we got chums you know she gonna meet some of our guy friends and some of our other friend name or whatever them people they never really come on my schools because my school was an all-girls school any little thing i'm not my house with my mother because i live with my mom and anything would have would have tell her i would have just you know just talk amongst yourself as young people she would have given advice and you know mother mother depressed most of the time like most of the time i just as myself me in school most of the time my dear guidance counselor and my counsel me and they tell me half fat and dead cow one bag of something i need to do i need to drink water i need to drink tea if get over my depression anyways i was just like not into it i just did it <laughs> high school days me just did eight high school days anyways no would i come school and we tell each other what problems one at a time and we say like when i like our parents and we want to run we left we yard and we're gonna move out and or we're gonna just do one thing as soon as we leave school and one bag of something so see we like our planet that's exactly what we did do we decided to say we just have to do one thing and try to make life our own and try to see what the world after offer so now me having a mind say like my mother can't tell me not right now i'm just gonna do my own thing because i can't take the you know like when you're the woman you got you one bag of something which that's up one next time but i just say i got you one bag of something i just want to be my own person and just find myself she always a follow with fair appearance but me did have a argument with my mom and then i just call her at this time she got a phone because you know we leave school and everything so um i call her and say hey i could go somewhere i could go do something so anyways we link up i left the yard and i'm gonna link her up and like we are talk and we decide say we are gonna move once and for all we are gonna just tell them so we are leave and we never coming back and that is just that and i just saw so we feel so 
when we'll go back to the house now um my start pack up my thing them come here said today other day me ugly because we can't take the stress anymore so my start pack and my while me pack my text and me say me pack up my shoes them and where you carry and stuff like that so me can carry the same things because me say all right me know where we go somewhere and then me have some so anyways like first place where we go I want to feel a relative after that is just be a friend yard with a friend yard to friend yard I will move around like I don't know women in that team but me just did it young and fufu like me just move around and we just had the road we just have move around we don't know we just have live carefree and we just have go from place to from place to place and I sleep and I just do it just we are doing here every minute we do we here we are doing nails well you know we never did hungry because we have guys where you know just give me things and we never did a six feet so when I don't come for me I wanna don't ta start ta the crap them in other down below but we were okay we did you know get through with whatever we want because we did nice and cute whenever ugly you know we did nice and cute and we just had with, with little thing she did this and so she now go back a fairy because she have couple brothers and sisters and i want bed and she just never did want to go back there so i didn't understand fair circumstances and as a friend you want to like be there for her. you don't want to like be and i mean what say me could carry her back in my yard so and if me leave her there and say girl do sis it's a good look away from me so i'm just say all right let me just stay with her and whatever so anyways they don't know on a walk no um we we'll walk on the road i want to know where i go up this two ratty big old suitcase i don't know how police never scrape you up because when i say we have two big old suitcases she have one big suitcase and me have one big suitcase and you want to say we little we little and just did it on a walk and people just are looking for we and we just never care because we did bougie and have attitude anyways we walk no and um we just see this drop top black it was a drop top we are call it freaking vehicle eh we don't know where you call it but it was an open top car benz looking with a white guy in it so this old man now drive up our foot and say hey what are you guys doing like me have a look at accent and them thing there he was like where are you guys heading and then we're like oh we're just waiting on our ride and blah 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 which we need and we feel no right because we never have no money and she's like we're just waiting for our ride where are you heading and then he's like well i'm just going to lunch blah 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 yes the only one i love catch girl with food oh no so anyways i'm asking now if we want to come with him and have a lunch and wait with him until our ride is here or whatever so we jump up now because we know so we know for go say all right yeah sure whatever let's go so him come out time car now and come help with the bag and me i say like jesus christ we start freaking and me i say what the hell we are doing so anyways we're in at the back i'm in the back and she's at the front and in my talk in my ask be a question so what's your name how old are you what you guys do for fun and take me to this really posh cute restaurant and i don't like simple like oh i want patty i want one casey no in take we to a really nice luxury restaurant and we're there and we're eating and we're order and you know you know just you might try impress we you might try impress two girls so i'm gonna say all right cool old man yeah go on with yourself so this is my first time encountering a sugar daddy or whatever so i realized that she's more like comfortable she comfortable me me each up because me i said jesus like you know what i'm shy shy so she started to come out her shell now and she talk and <laughs> my shoulder and I touch my shoulder and stuff like that and then I get real friendly like real friendly and cozy so I realized that one hour past now and I call her to the bathroom because I have to say I say in my head what the hell we are going to do when time this man recognize say no taxi now come for me so excuse from the table and call her to the bathroom i'm like bro where the hell we are gonna like where the hell we are gonna tell the man and she's like well i feel like we could just come out and tell him what a real situation i'm gonna say oh the hell we're gonna tell this man with situation say to him and you know you take it from there 
so anyways we'll go back to the table and him ask if we're ready and we say yes and whatever and then we he paid for the the lunch and then we are head to the car now so when we head to the car now she said to him sir um I have something for set to you and whatever I see me and me and me lap my hair and come here and say Jesus Christ God Almighty she go tell him say we don't know if he lives so anyway she tell him and to my surprise he's like really he never take it no way it's like for real you guys are so I didn't say something earlier and whatever and blah 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 so he's like all right let me see what I can do so I say eh you go see what you can do I wonder what you can do so he's like so where is your ride and she say we really never did a wait for a ride and me say yeah we, we just did say that because you know yeah so him ask if we want to come back to him house and just want chill and figure out things and we say yes because you know yeah we want someone to go so we say yes no and we we'll go back to him house and me have first out help me i say god almighty please don't make this man kill we off god please make us safe blah 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 so in time we'll go up in other hills now and we're going to place him also big and nice with pool and him have dogs and it just did look really nice like him is a real sugar daddy like you know him i give that vibe they on a different level so me i was like many never know said them thing in a jamaica so anyways in i'm also now in my show way around in my show the pool and anything there and he might try impress which we were impressed because we did young fool and friend for things so he might impress you know and he must say okay well you guys can stay here in this room until we figure out whatever whatever so anyways speed up the story now to the nice part then we stay there for a couple of days and then he rent a place for us so he rent a place for us nearby so you know say when time my girl sees a man start spend money and them thing that she gone in a full blown relationship with the man's so me then you know me i say okay then i saw this i come down she gone in a full blown relationship with him now till all by the time you look he move with in at the apartment he might pay with bills a month time for the first two months he pay with bills and when we said them in a full blown relationship them in a full blown relationship he would have care with out buy with things like well me me uncle did get food because they don't say it's not really my man it's her man me just did a benefit after whatever the situation was because if you ask me <laughs> If you ask me, I was just there benefiting from him through her because if you really look funny, she are the one where I sleep with him, she are give pum pum and all of these things. He and her live together in a this rented place close by to him and he would have come by whenever I want him buy with groceries, him buy her bags and clothes and whenever um for example like if him have a carrier shopping and me no want to stay home him would have just um carry me to me sitting in the back as usual because me just have watch everything i play where while me just have benefit off or whatever i go on right here so so um one particular day him carry we go up and house up at one of my next house and of course it did nice and impressive because him have money so every time they might do them little thing like every time they have sex me just wait downstairs and would ask her after so if you were yourself you like him like that the choo choo like and she's like yeah and i'm like so y'all go just like i don't know you are pretty like long-term relationship or what or this is just for now like okay you know i'm a girlfriend may i question her and she said she wants him for real and she had there with him for real and whatever because him, you know, you know, she said, him spoil me and give me everything I want and blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, cool. But the thing is, him did a little bit too flirty. So anyways, after everything now, get more, a little bit more settled and we're there living at the house for, um, call it about three months. So everybody knows that you are a man and whatever. So I realized so the man started to catch like a feelings for me. Well me didn't have clothes already using me, but she get like new clothes and she get all of the nice things because of her man man. 
so like people that steer from we said mm -hmm. but she's too little girl with this white man not, not nothing good about them <laughs> nothing good about you always get a little steer there. but we never did care car we did all right and i live our best life I realized that the man start catch feelings to me i mean, I said, girl i have to talk to you i said i'm going to tell her because i don't want it like get out of hand and all me know is like sometimes like whenever we go to the restaurant the man i use him foot underneath the table i pick off my toe he might pick my toe and i like give me the look and i wink when she now look at me and say then i could have walk then i could have walk as this now then then you know have somebody already sir like is what mm, like me start to question everything because me i say him do this couple of time i'm say you know what today when we go home i'm gonna tell her so i'm go home now after the dinner and girl i have to tell you something my thing say such and such like me and she say what you mean by and i say i feel like say him like me because him do this this and this i'm say don't tell him back in a girl I tell the girl not to say nothing to the man and she go back to him she go back to him and say oh well she said this and him deny it so i said then jesus christ after him deny it the, she bring it up in the car while i'm with them in the car i'm like so why you that say something tell an officer something and you say something like he's not gonna say whatever so anyways big old argument starting at the vehicle so anyways me vex she vex we not talk for a while every time she go up on the road me leave she and him for go i don't go i just start to stay at home start catch attitude she buy her things them she come home and she hype the man start to get in the middle of a friendship so i realized the mess so how you start to act like this towards me you really go back and go ask him that it's supposed to be confidential you supposed to believe me because i'm your friend anyways the man have a little plan for mash will from a long time so he deliberately flirt with me because him knows it would it would have pissed her off i feel like i don't feel i know me no say what the man did do him get tired of her and him just waff it up a fresh pump pump so that is why i'm starting to mash up the little camp mash up the little dolly house so anyways long 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 story cut short this are the last time me and our friendship just you know we really did a go down the rocks like in bring me to a restaurant there was some way more with a try like him buy a slice of cake and him want with a try so every time me do a cake for taste it she take the fork and jam it like she know want me for taste it so every time someone say what the problem why you do that i'ma try again for, for take the fuck for take a piece and she take her fuck and jam it again someone say all right so he's like what's your problem him ask her so what's your problem why are you doing that and he said she's saying well me don't want her to touch it me don't want her to get none and he's like so why are you behaving like that towards her blah 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 in which him did already know say him a flirt with me which him never should have do because i eat a upset her and that's why she ate me she decided that she's gonna move out with my guy parent and she gonna move in with him so me need to find somewhere for god because she gonna move in with her man and she gonna left me by my face so when she decides to she left me for my face now at this point me i say you know what i should have did got my yard you know i should have never did stay out there with her and make her just do her thing herself because me can't believe say you really and truly are gonna left me yourself and i did stick with you so anyways that did upset me and that did come me so i just watch her pack her things and she go up her yard up at the man yard the man have a plan to kick she out of him house so what did happen was him nobody want her no more because him see how she did a deal with me because of him i feel like he was a little narcissist too so him kick she out of him him make her come a female and then tell her say oh it's not gonna work we're breaking up i don't think i can do this anymore blah 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 and so she feel like so she did a um put me in a bad situation and him trick she and she end up in a bad situation so me still there the people them rent out it was a furnished room that we're staying it was a furnished half side of house we have kitchen and bathroom and everything so him put out she after she leave me so him put out she after him put out she you know she i call me and i say oh him do this blah 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 and she go go back home she said she could go back home and she not deal with him blah 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 so anyways me and make up my inner my mind say when me go say to my mother 
me can't tell my mother them things here like what me I got do and I me just did in a shambles again in my mind so I'm like all right I'm just gonna make up my mind and probably just go back home and then I call my mother so when me call my mother my mother never did a have no good attitude towards me because me gone me left the yard so long and like where you there and yeah give me attitude so what's the problem no like you get me she never did like give me no good vibe so i'm still right, you know i probably just need to stick it all me need to see if me can do this for my own after him kick out she know couple days passed after she not chat to me kim called me and i said well what is it that i'm gonna do because them not talk anymore and he complain to me some of the stuff them what she had do she had search up in phone if i have other girls because why y'all look my friend and whatever and she finally say him did i talk to other people and whatever i'm like girl like he's older than you he's a sugar daddy type of man so like where did expect that's why i did ask her in the first place are you really gonna take this man serious or are you just gonna do this thing for now what is it that you're gonna do the man now start to say so well like if you if you want you don't have to go back home you can stay with me and i said then jesus christ but may i go to because my mother not talk to me may i try like me don't know me afraid to go back home because you know the embarrassment of going back home after you wheel your tail out of your yard i never want to go back home so i said me would think about it. Me tell him say I would think about it. He went me there the house now call me and say so what am I gonna do? What's my decision if me decide that I'm gonna go back home to my mom or me I go come live with him or just be with him or whatever. So he's like oh get dressed and me me take it out so we can talk over dinner. Me there think say all right. Me just have to go man up and just be a little poor for the money. How bad can it be? Like, I just uh, go have sex with him. I just uh, go like this. How me literally I talk to myself and tell myself, say, you know, I just uh, go all out so I can live somewhere, so my bills can pay, and so I can make a living. That's literally how I was telling myself. Me as a person, when I grow up in a, that type of situation and environment, but I saw my friend doing it, so me, I say in my mind, how bad can this be? Like, she get the things them so let me just try am i really gonna do this guys the whole of my moral compass jump through the window